welcome to Whistle Test. And tonight, really, a Whistle Test special in every sense of the word. One of the finest new bands in the land, really, taking up the whole of the programme tonight. So let's welcome them in concert to the programme tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jack Bruce Band. <laughs> to bus it in the street Can you still hear me now that the songs are moving into night Try sleeping with Dances in your room
the clown Another floods of dawn I bring another crowd And the angel who sits in her car For a delight Of the hoses Can they put out This one is called Keep It Down. Keep it down. Yeah. 
feel the life is made of straw Can you tell me what it's for? Wave the pound against the door Leave me at the place I throw it away Keep me singing
it's, um, that was a very strange song written by Pete, <clears throat> Pete Brown for me. I'd like to do an even stranger one called One. Face next to mine in the mirror lot for the now was history only one just begun Trying to keep from sleeping, live in the soft memory. Only one just begun. Says in the tunes that there's plenty Straight. 
going to do an instrumental by Tony Williams called Spirit, and it's going to be played by Ronnie Leahy, the keyboards. Mick Taylor on the guitar. Bruce Gary. Drums. Carla Blay, keyboard. Jack Bruce on bass.
like to do um, <coughs> the newest thing that we've written, which is called Without a Word. Without a word, the time is missed. The shadows twist against the sun.
of paper just said we've got seven minutes and uh, I'm inclined to believe it. So we're playing seven. Thank you. 
Lights from the sea Cars when roads are near Wind is much too soon
enjoyable concert. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Please, can we have a final round of applause in appreciation of the Jack Bruce Band. <laughs> and thank you too for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you people have enjoyed the program. We'll see you soon. Until then, good night. Right, as we turn into the new year, uh, rumours finally crystallised and the announcement was made that Mick Taylor would indeed be the guitarist in the new Jack Bruce band. And it is a pleasure to welcome both Mick Taylor and Jack Bruce to the studio tonight. Good to see you. Jack, congratulations first of all on the album, Out of the Storm, which I'm Thank enjoying you. immensely, really. Nice. And on the formation of the new band, really too. It's, I get the impression really that it's something that you've been wanting to put together now for quite a long time. Well, this, uh, the, the way the band's working out, it's not the sort of thing that you could want to. It's, it's the sort of thing you could dream about, really, rather than plan. Mm. You know, that's sort of the way it happened, you know. You haven't settled on a drummer yet? No, we haven't um, settled on one. We have several, and we're going to mm. choose one of those. How did the band come together, Jack? <sighs> Well, I, I was rehearsing with some people, uh, but it just wasn't really working out. It wasn't making me happy. And uh, Andy Johns, uh, who's a mutual friend of Mix and myself, he was staying at my house, and he said, phone, let's phone up Mick and see if he feels like playing, recording or something. So we did that, and uh, we went into the studio. And Mick, um, well, that's how, Mick, how I met Mick. And then uh, Mick sort of told me he, want, he wouldn't mind playing. <laughs> <laughs> what about the other people, Carla Blaze? Well, that was fantastic. Uh, I mean, Carla Blaze is really an amazing person. And uh, I phoned up Carla to get Tony Williams' phone number, because I thought he would be a good drummer to have. And uh, not only did she have the phone number, but she asked if she could be, <laughs> be the keyboard player in the band. Yeah. So it's really, <laughs> I didn't sort of plan the band or ask anyone to join. It just sort of, sort of happened. And the final, Max. Yeah, Max, I did ask to join. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's very happy about it. Mm. So we'll have sort of keyboards, harmoniums, organs, the whole lot, you know, mm. two keyboard players. It makes it very versatile. Right. <clears throat> Mick, you, have you been thinking for some time about leaving the Stones? Uh, yes, it, it had been sort of uh, in the back of my mind for quite a long time. I, I mean, my role as um, lead guitarist has always been very satisfying, especially uh, playing live on stage. Mm. 
which is where I feel I made my greatest contribution towards the group. But um, as my own sort of uh, music started to develop, it became more and more difficult to sort of um, express myself within the uh, style of the, of the group. Mm. And I mean, it's the style of the Stones that uh, makes them so good, you know. Yeah. And um, Did you feel that style changed much when you joined? Mm. Um, well, I, 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 feel, I feel it developed, you know. Um, I, I think the whole band uh, got pro progressively better as a, as a live perf performing uh, band on stage, and I think that we reached a, reached a peak on the last European tour, which was very good. Mm -hmm. but, you, but you see, um, uh, when, I, uh, when I started to uh, play piano and started to compose, music on piano that's when I sort of um, realized that um, I had a lot more musical potential that uh, wasn't actually being used mm. and um, when the opportunity came up to play with Jack I was you know very sort of enthusiastic about it because mm. we both have very similar tastes and similar ideas so did the telephone call from Jack actually prompt your leaving the stones um, <laughs> it didn't. Pro it didn't. It didn't. It didn't prompt me. Prompt me to to uh, uh, actually leave. I was thinking about that anyway. But um, I mean, it, it was it was so perfect. You know, it was such an ideal opportunity mm. because uh, I'd been wanting to get together with Jack for a long time. Yeah. You must have enjoyed the time you spent with the Stones. I mean. Oh, it was great. Mm. Fantastic. Mm. You've no idea who they're going to call upon now to replace you in the guitar? Um, <laughs> I, I think, uh, I think they're having problems, you know, I mean, it could be anybody, you know. Mm. I, I, I feel that at this stage in their career it, it would probably be better to just use friends, you know, on, for recording sessions. Mm. I don't really know, you know. Uh, okay. Jack, the, uh, the next step, presumably now, for all of you, will be rehearsals. And mm. are you planning to rehearse the band now, almost immediately? Yes. Uh, the plan is, once we have our drummer, which we should have a drummer tomorrow, <laughs> uh, once we have him, we're going to go to Jamaica and uh, have some sun and get to know each other, mm. rehearse and possibly uh, record, because there's a very good studio there. Too. Mm. That's the plan. Uh, drama is the thing. Yeah. <laughs> but Be it's looking, really looking like we're going to find one. Yeah. yeah. Presumably at this stage it's very difficult to start thinking about putting gigs together for a tour. Are you, are you planning? Oh yes, without any doubt. Um, it's difficult obviously for us to think, yeah, we'll start here and, uh, you know, start at uh, point A, you know. Mm. So where can we? I don't know where we can play anyway. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we will play as soon as it's at all possible. Mm. The plan is to play all, o all over the world, everywhere, mm. you know. And yeah. out of the storm, presumably, will provide the nucleus of the stage then? Well, uh, initially the band will be playing mostly my material, I mean, 90-odd percent. But the band will grow, and I should think very quickly we'll be writing together. I should imagine that Carla, Mick and myself will form, uh, and Pete Brown, you know, mm. we should form a, a songwriting team, you know, and that is the, the potential of that actually sort of worries me. It's so fantastic. <laughs> you know. Yeah. There really does the seem... The things that Mick is, uh, is getting into. I mean, I only knew Mick as uh, <clears throat> the lead guitar player with the Stones. I didn't know just quite what a musician he was, you know. He's amazing, you know, potentially he's amazing. And I hope that the band will grow and give him an opportunity to to fulfil that potential. Mm. Yeah. Well, the very best of luck. Thanks for coming in, Thank you. Taylor. Jack Thank Bruce. you.